a look at how to create a call sheet in Yamdu. So going into the shooting schedule section, let's click on an active shooting scenario. And let's just make sure that we're also in the view mode and not the edit mode. So this is all good. Then scrolling down to the end of the shooting day, we can use the quick functions or the plus icon to create a call sheet from directly within the shooting schedule. But of course, we can also do this in the call sheet section as well. Next, we get a pop-up where we need to set up the call sheet. So we need to add a title, date, and a call time. And for this case, 7 a.m. is perfectly fine. Then uh, we can select a template like the shooting day or from all the other options that Yamdu gives you. We can also actually use an existing call sheet from all the previous projects that we've worked on in the company. But let's just stick to the shooting day template and create. And let's discuss this section in another video when we need to send out a finished call sheet. So here we have a draft of the call sheet. And as you can see, it's already been pre-filled with some information. Oh, and if the layout is too small, we can always zoom in or out with these buttons. Scrolling down further, we can see that all the information that we need has already automatically been added for us, which means we really only need to make minor changes if we need to. So back in the header, we can see all the information on producers and directors, the call time, uh, which we selected earlier in the setup, as well as the shooting day and number. Oh, and what's really nice is the weather forecast that's been included automatically just based on the first filming location for the shooting day. We also have information on the nearest hospital and, of course, the call times. And let's take a look at some of the quick functions. First, um, we can import a schedule, meaning that if there are changes to the shooting schedule, we can directly import them to the call sheet. So if there are any changes, we just really need to apply them. Next, we can send ourselves a test email or export the call sheet as a PDF. And we also have the option to bulk edit the call sheet. So if we go back to the call times, we can actually click on the individual fields to make quick changes and use the drop down menu to select a new time. But if we need to change call times for everyone, then we can bulk edit and either push or pull for a later time or just replace it entirely and set a new call time for everyone. As always, we have the option to leave comments and this is especially useful if we're working on the call sheet with our colleagues. And another cool option is that we can actually change the design of the call sheet layout. Um, as you can see, there are several options to choose from like the industry standard, the alternative standard and so forth. But for now, we'll be using the modern design. And again, we have even more design options down here. And finally, we have an option to edit settings, so we can select different time zones using the drop-down menu. Um, we can also choose the format of the display times, so the 12-hour clock, 24-hour clock, or even military times. And we can also add a watermark to the PDF just by typing a text if needed. And it's really important to mention that once we've finalized the design and made changes to the call sheet, we can always reuse this one as a template for future call sheets. So every element on this document is added automatically at the beginning, but we can always add or remove certain elements to customize the call sheet. For instance, we can always go and edit elements in the character section and change names or pickup times so that those changes will be applied whenever we need to readjust. So let's take a final run through and save the progress that we've made to the call sheet. That way we can always come back and readjust elements if we need to. And that was how to create a call sheet using the shooting schedule. Don't forget to check out the second part of this video on sending out a call sheet from within Yamdu. Oh, 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 oh,